good day guys um in, in today's video we, we're going to look at um how to create a reservation uh, in dcss and some people call it um how to put something in order or how to order something on gcss that's the provisional for your provisional slot um that's ordering class tools so let's get into it <laughs> So most most of the time you can just look at the T code, type in the T code, and type Zeus menu, then um, hit enter. Then it takes you to the unit supply menu right there. Then you go to reservation management. Then you hit MB21. So here you put in um, your your movement type, put in your movement type, but I will pause here and say something real quick. So most um, installations have most most installations are used to two zero one, but for the installation that I, I'm on, they swapped it. So it's going to be two two one for me. So but the other installations is going to be two zero one. So when you see two two one, don't get alarmed. Is two zero one for you if you are not on the installation that I am. So in most installations, it's going to be 201. So let's go on. So the next one is going to uh, we're going to put the plan 2000 in, then you hit enter. Then you put in your uh, S log. So this is your provisional S log we are talking about here. So you put in your provisional S log. Then you hit, you check the green mark. Then you select the funding type. Uh, you can get your funding type from your S4. If you don't know, you, you contact your S4. Your S4 will give you your funding type. Then and the next big thing is naming your reservation. That's a good receipt. So I personally name my reservation supply reservation for me to be able to easily identify when I go to my reservation list. So I, I, I name my supply reservation. Then the item that you're going to put on order, you need to have the material number. You need to do a bit of research on it. Get the material number, get the units of issue, which is a, a very big thing when it comes to putting something on order or creating a, reserve, a reservation. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. So sometimes if you don't get the right, um, if you don't get the right unit of measurement, right? If you don't get the right one, what is going to happen is you might put something in order and you're going to have a bunch of them coming in. So always do your research, know the difference between the measurements you're using so that you don't end up getting about 2,000 worth of items that you don't need. 2,000 items that you don't need, 2,000 quantities of items that you don't need. So as you can see, I'm going to put each because this is a book memorandum, which is kind of something that we all use, that green small book. Then here, when you click the book leaf right there, you can see all the measurements in this, uh, in the, on GCSS. So you can actually look through and look for the one that you did your research on. So I did mine and I saw that it was um, each. So I had to I'll click on each then hit the green mark green check mark up there so the next big thing people talk about the badge but i don't pay particular attention about the badge because the badge defines whether it's old or new or coded or something so mostly i don't talk about it but the next big thing i'm going to talk about is going to be the requirement agency determine how quickly your 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 order should come in or your order should come in so one is very high means you need it as quickly as possible. And mostly when you use very high, you should have a memo or some kind of um, your commander's backing to actually let S4 or S8 know why you urgently need that item. Um, and 
medium, which is two, is also some kind of, is in the middle. As you can see, we have high, medium, and the routine. The routine are just the normal one that we all know about. You just put it on routine. That means it's something that you do it all the time. But sometimes you want the thing faster. You can use um, zero two. So select the one that you want. This one, we're going to select um, three, which is a routine uh, order that we are trying to do. So select three, then you, you hit on your check mark. After that, then you hit on the save button right there. Then that'll be all for creating a reservation. But one thing that you have to bear in mind is the document number right there, which is also going to be a reservation number. When you take off the two zeros, it becomes a reservation number. And that'll be all for today when it comes to creating a reservation on GCSS Army.